19-year-old Helen spends her life on the move, living in public parks. But she currently has more pressing matters on her mind, planning her upcoming wedding. I can't believe it was set. It's all like setting into reality. Yeah. With just four days to go, she is visiting a nearby nail bar with her elder sister Marie to make sure her hands are up to scratch on the big day. Yeah, these are the um, last things I have to do now for the wedding, just get, well, like, yeah. make myself look well hot <laughs> for what I'm going to do. I think Helen is in La La Land at the moment. I think she thinks everything's all rainbows and unicorns. But, like, actually, it's not... Like, after the honeymoon is over, maybe two weeks after the honeymoon is over, she's just going to be, like, left there, clean up all day. Did you ever want to be anything else for a travel boy? Yeah, I wanted to go to college to learn how to do nails and hair. And then um, I never did go, I never was settled long enough to go. All of the bridal party must go through the same beautification process, including niece Lily Ann. But she is less than excited by the prospect. She has to do that for two seconds. <laughs> two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> when do young couple girls start learning about beauty? Straight away, really, because when they're newborns, they have their nails painted already. Ears pierced, ears pierced, probably three or four weeks out. Everything's done, like, really quickly. She's not going to touch it with nothing else, Lillian. Lillian? isn't the only member of the family concerned about their appearance. Does see consultation to get me banned on. Oh, right, excellent. Despite his problems with the local council, her brother-in-law, Jimmy, has taken a road trip of a different kind, visiting Birmingham ahead of an operation, which he hopes will tackle his weight problems. And why have you decided to get a gastric band? Why? Uh, well, there's many reasons, isn't there? Many reasons. I don't think the wife loves me no more. The best half of my friends all have it. The best half of them. I mean, most of them. And I'm not like, feel like, like the other one out, so make a change as well, you know what I mean? I mean health really more than anything really in as well. Operations like these are increasingly popular within sections of the travelling community. But until now, they have preferred to keep the practice a secret. I've noticed a change really within the last two years. Uh, I personally have, you know, Crikey, guided probably around about 36 travellers through a gastric banding. When they phone up to make a band adjustment, they'll phone up specifically to speak with myself to check on the list that there are no other travellers there so that they don't bang into, you know, if they didn't do it that way, we would end up sometimes on a, a busy clinic day with band adjustments, you know, having quite a few of our travellers turning up at the same time. So there's a lot of new evidence in the past couple of years that we understand it a lot better than we used yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. The upcoming surgery is designed to decrease the size of Jimmy's stomach. Your body squeezes the food through the band. Mm. It's a measure he feels will help him curb some of his more excessive habits. So how's the diet been going? You can go to the pub and get about 20 points, 25 points, come home and then eat a big, eat about two kebabs while you're waiting. Eat, yeah. eat one while you're waiting for one. <laughs> Travellers like Jimmy, who follow the traditional nomadic lifestyle, face widespread animosity from the local community. Just two days after their arrival at the local park in Croydon, they have been served yet another eviction notice. By the end of the day, they'll be camped on somebody else's doorstep. I see them on the local fields when they come out, and then we're always worried if they're going to be around at night, Double, you know, double check you should lock the house. <laughs> and they leave a lot of mess around quite often. It's always happened around here, so I'm used to it. Over that field, that field, go around the corner of here. So, yeah, they were pretty much everywhere. And I used to be very disruptive, you know, driving lorries on the field and dumping concrete and bricks and stuff. Their attitude to authority seems to be we do what we like. I think it's got a lot to do with the public. 
why we have to live so soon because they're very, very again travellers here. Do you feel like it's your right to be able to pull up anywhere? Yeah, I do. If it's if it's a way, like from, it's not in anybody's way. Like we're not doing any harm here. Do you pay rent on places like this? No. It's public places, so no, we don't. Do you think that that might be why people get annoyed? No, I think it's just the fact that we're travellers. They just don't like the thought of travellers being in their local park. He just wants to be left alone. Like, if we were left here, we wouldn't do no harm. Not like, you know what I mean? We'd clean up after ourselves. We'd do whatever we could, like, to keep out of the way. I really, I really don't think the public around this area like travellers whatsoever. Life would be a lot easier, wouldn't it, if we, if we were just left, left alone to be like everybody else. I mean, we're no different than anybody else. Because we just have a name of it being the gypsy or a traveller. You know I mean, we're no different than anybody else out there, is it? You know what I mean? We're all, we're all the same people here, you know? We just that we have a different way of living than they have. So, that was it. Although her lifestyle can appear rough and ready, like all brides, Helen wishes to look her best on her wedding day. And beautifying herself in a caravan is always challenging. There's no showers, no toilets, and an electric only in the night time, like off the generator, do you know what I mean? And there's only certain things you can run, you can't run the straighteners off the generator, do you know what I mean? Because it'll blow up. So it's too many, it's too high. So you're going around with your hair standing to attention. So what but do you do for showers and toilets? Go up to the, to the swimming pool and use the showers. Go for a swim. Having packed up, the travelling clan will now attempt to commandeer their 20th public park in the space of a month. Give me a quick Jimmy! Right, come on, quick Jimmy, would you? Yeah, get him a quick Jimmy, quick Jimmy, come on. One of the group has identified a field 20 minutes down the road that will suit the family's needs. But now they're on the road, they need to move swiftly and in convoy, giving them safety in numbers. That won't be the last in the convoy. Like when you don't know where you're going, what camp we're going to, it's more difficult because then you get stopped at the lights and stuff like that there and you can't, you can't find your way where you're going, you know what I mean? What are you looking for in, in a camp? Just somewhere where you can stay and somewhere it's safe for the children. Like a field away from the road. If you're out in like a main road, it's so awkward. You shouldn't have to be kept in because you're afraid to stay and get run over or whatever. Sit back, Lillianne, and stop. What do you think people think when they see a load of trailers driving around? I hope they don't pull into our local park.